Hello folks, Jason Crispin here at JC's Bees. As you can see, the bees are coming in left and right. They're working the maple trees pretty hot and heavy today. You know, it's kind of funny how these maple trees work. You know, each species of the maple um, bloom at different times. And here at my place, I have a lot of the silver maples. And it seems to be that the mature maples, the ones that are 30, 40 foot tall, are blooming a little later than the ones that are still younger, maybe 10 years or 15 years of age. Um, those ones have already bloomed and the bees were working them just a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks ago. And since they've lost interest and they're now moving to these other ones that are just starting to bust open today. So I stepped out the house and I'm like, why do I hear what sounds like a swarm? And just right 10 foot from my steps is a silver maple tree. And I look up and there's just bees flying all over working it. So glad to see that. So what I want to do today is I thought we would uh, check a few of these bigger hives and see how that uh, pollen patty is looking that I added just a couple weeks ago. Um, if the bees have ate it down, um, maybe they've moved it away from the cluster. I'll move it around. If it's um, completely gone, I may add some more. So I just want to get in there and kind of get a feel of what it looks like. I'm not going to start busting frames apart yet. Um, it's kind of a little cool today. Um, you can see it's cloudy, not a whole lot of sun. So just kind of want to take a quick peek at this uh, pollen patty and see how the dry sugar um, stores are looking. Um, you know, now that they're out working these maple trees, I know they're bringing in nectar at least a little bit. I don't know how much nectar the maple tree really produces, but I'm sure they're getting something from it. Um, as you know, maple trees produce maple syrup or sap. So there's some sweetness there. Um, and I'm sure that has to be produced into some kind of nectar also. But um, anyway, I still want to make sure they have a little bit of dry sugar um, to fall back on. And um, once it warms up a little bit, then I'll worry about breaking the boxes down in my first inspection of the year. So be looking for that video. It will be coming here soon. Um, but today, we're just going to check out this pollen patty, see how it's looking. And I did want to mention, um, just a few days ago, we had a real nice uh, sunny day, and um, I did some open feeding. And I just took a simple chicken water, um, put my one-to-one -one syrup in it, flipped it back over the right way. The syrup starts to come out down the tray down at the bottom. And then I just took some stones from my driveway and put down in that little area so that the bees don't drown in an inch of syrup. Um, I've also seen people put corks um, from wine bottles and such, or just lay some hay or grass in there. All right, so now let's fire up our smoker and then we'll get in these three hives and see how the pollen patty is looking. All right, we'll give them each a little puff of smoke here, let them know dad's coming. And we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna pull my sleeves up a little bit. I've learned when you've got long sleeves that there's a little bit of a tunnel I guarantee you, Abby will find it. She'll get up there and she's gonna feel threatened because she's gonna get stuck and she's gonna sting you. So if you pull it up to where your sleeves don't have a little tunnel, you're gonna do yourself a favor and I guarantee you, you're probably not gonna get stung. You're gonna have a lot less chance of a bee just walking on you and not stinging you with your sleeves up. So here we go. Look at that. That is beautiful. Nice group of bees. They've ate a lot of the pollen patty. I think I will add another one. So let me close this back up for a second. Okay, so I got one here. What I wanna do is take my knife, make a couple scars down here so they can get to it real easily. Now they may not like it because it is slightly chilled still but I'm gonna smoke them off of this one and push them down in a little bit. Then I'm gonna lay this one right up here on top of this mess. Looks like they could use a little bit more dry sugar too. So I will have to follow back around with my dry sugar. I don't have that with me. Let's go on over and check this next one out. See what it looks like. 
I'll move you over a little bit so you can get a better perspective on it. There we go. So, absolutely no dry sugar. And not much of a pollen patty. So I need to add some dry sugar to this one. And I need to give them another pollen patty. So let me grab the pollen patty real quick. Okay, I've got their pollen patty. I'm going to scar it, make it easier for them to get in there and eat some of that goodness. Give them a couple puffs of smoke so I ain't got to lay a cold patty right on top of them. Well, you can see there's bees from this frame all the way over to here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six solid frames of bees just in this top box. Um, I haven't yet, like I said, to do a full inspection. Um, that is, is coming at a later date. So I'll lay that there and then I'll come back. Like I said, I'll have to come back with the dry sugar and I'll probably just end up pouring it over in this area and maybe some over here. But you gotta keep it topped off this time of year just to make sure they always have something. Just that little bit of insurance. I tell you, the dry sugar is a lot cheaper than buying uh, a package of bees or a nuke. I'll move my stones over here out of the way. Slide the camera down. And we'll see how these ones are looking. And I have them a patty right there if they need it. Now these girls I know have a... They have an entrance in the top, but they also have the corner of the box is shot here. I seen about a hundred heads looking out at me when I was sitting up there watching them earlier. So I'll smoke them right there in that crack this one I think's got a better population than the one we were just in too Okay, so, as I can see here, every frame has bees on it. Absolutely no dry sugar. But at the same time, I'm not sure that I gave this hive any dry sugar because this is a honey super that we're looking in. And I still see capped honey um, on actually each frame that I look at. So I'm going to lay this inner cover down. It's covered in bees. I don't want them to get upset if I drop it. So I'm going to lay that down. I'm try and smoke these girls down in a little bit so I can lay this patty up there for them. Okay, I got it scarred or scratched. Lay it in there. And we'll put their cover back on. I don't mean any harm, girls. I'm bringing you food. So one thing I want to make sure that's clear. By me sharing this video, you can see, just two weeks ago I put those pollen patties in there. 75% of the patty is gone. Um, when I put the pollen patties in there, there was uh, two and a half pounds of dry sugar in these first two hives. That is now gone. So it just goes to show you that there's a difference from 
them coming out of the cold winter and not being able to move around as much, now they're out flying and working on a daily basis and they're burning more calories. They're going through that food. So it's crucial this time of year that you keep a really, really close eye on these colonies because it would only take you missing this uh, inspection and then to go a couple days without food and they're gonna die. So, like I said a few minutes ago, it's a lot cheaper to buy a couple bags of sugar than it is a nuke or a package. So keep a close eye on your colonies. This time of year, the bees are working hard and they're burning them calories. So keep a close eye on them. So keep an eye open for my uh, first inspection video. That'll be coming up in a couple weeks. Um, I got a lot of neat things I want to share this year. I got big plans. Um, I'm also going to be uh, setting up some hive stands. Um, here real soon. And I'm going to uh, be sharing that video. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, please take time to do so and make sure you click on the little bell so that you get notified when I release new videos. Uh, if you like the video, throw me a thumbs up. That'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks and make it easier for all the other beekeepers or anybody interested in bees to find them. Thanks for watching JC's Bees. <laughs>